Welcome back everybody to the channel, Blurred Lines Disc Golf. Today we're gonna do a little what's in my bag for the 2022 season. I'm repping the Grip AX4, I think. It's the bigger of the Grip bags. Nothing special, I mean, it's a great bag, super comfortable, a lot of compartments, holds 20, I think I have 22 discs in the main spot. So it's a great, great bag. We're gonna start with my putters. I putt with the Penrose EV7s. Um, they're great disc. Uh, they, they're stable, slight bead, glide, um, just all around great putters, EV7. I also bag two P models. This one I've aced probably eight different times with. It's beat up, throw it on hyzer, it turns and just stays turning. Then I keep the P model S in the Duraflex plastic. It's stable, it feels really good. I love throwing putters, so this is one of my main throwing putters. Um, can get about 350 with it, just a hyzer. Just let it ride and let it finish. Approach disc, A2. Super stable. I know what it's going to do, headwind, tailwind, anything. It's just going to fly the same. Also, forehanded a lot. It's got the same numbers as a zone, but I feel like it's way more stable and handles torque a lot better than some zones that I've thrown. Next, we're going to get to the mids. I bag... I bag five different mids. Um, we'll start with kind of the basic... Mako 3, Champ Mako 3. Um, this is for like my big turnover shots or hyzer flip to something really straight. I got a new Halo Mako 3. These bad boys are money. They're still stable, so you can hyzer, let them finish, and turn over, they'll just pan out. Plus they feel really good in the hand. Next, I bag a Paul McBeth Proto Malta. Um, it's my stable mid-range it doesn't I know it's not gonna turn over in a headwind I know I can trust it whatever angle I throw it on it's gonna stay that angle the next disc is a five-time Paul McBeth buzz this bad boy I've aced I think three or four times with it my first tournament ace was this with this at Turner Park here in Dallas it hyzer flips my max distance I've ever like tried to get with this, I threw it 420 straight on a hole way over the way over the basket. Um, realistically though, I throw this if I'm 370 to 380 out, pretty straight, and it just it just flies, it just glides and finishes straight. The next disc, this is it's one of my prize discs. Um, it's a four-time Paul McBeth Claw Buzz. I had this, this is probably the longest disc I've had in my bag. I think I got this right, it was one of the first ones that Paul McBeth released. And I bagged it two weeks later, got my first ace with it. And it's been, I've lost it three times. It's always found its way back to me. Don't know how, but you know. So this bad boy, it's for my Three, like 360 to 400 foot shots, just hyzer flip, it just rides. I'd also throw big turnovers with it because I know it's just gonna keep holding that line. Um, if I lost this this, I'd be very sad. Next, we're gonna move to my fairways. Star T-Bird, classic, probably one of the most thrown discs um, of all time, honestly. This one is a max weight. Most of my discs are max weight. Um, this one I can, it's still stable enough so I know what it's gonna do. Um, I throw it about 370 to 420 on average. I don't, this is the disc where it's a little too far to like power mid, so I just ease up on a T-Bird and it does what it needs to do. The next I have is a Legacy Rival in the Icon Edition plastic. I actually, my sponsor gave me this disc. He was like, check it out. Let me know how it flies so I can let other people know because I just got a whole shipment in. And this thing is money. Out of the bag, out of the gate, I, it was hyzer flipping with relative ease. Didn't have to put a lot of hyzer on it. Now it hyzer flips and just rides straight. 
This one, if I really want to get on it, I can get this to about 440 easily. Just pop it, let it ride, and it just finishes back left. I feel like once it beats in, this will be a great big turnover disc or like a slower roller disc. Next disc I have is a 2020 Sex and Firebird. Not a huge fan of the Firebird, but I got this one because it has the New Orleans Saints logo on it. Who that baby? Um, it also, it's... It's very reliable. I mean, all the Sex and Fibers are very reliable. That You know what they're going to do. They don't ever really stray from what it is. The next, I bag two Innova Savants, um, a champ and a star. I started throwing the Savant probably, probably a little less than a year ago. And just a buddy gave me one and was like, hey, check this out. They'll probably like them. They flip up and ride. And I fell in love with them. This one, Kaiser flips. I know it's going to finish left. This one, I, my max distance with this is, I think, 460. Um, it's a big flex shot. And I knew it just rode right, then finished left. Um, this this one, the Star Savant, this one's stable. Wants to flip up, but I know it's not going to ever flip up. It's not going to flip up yet and turn to the right. It'll just ride that hyzer and it doesn't skip as much. That's what I like about the Savant. Once it hits the ground, it kind of just sits. The next one I have is a Halo Valkyrie. Honestly, I got this disc because it was pretty, like it looks super clean, but this disc is, it's what it needs to be. The thing about the Valkyrie, it's an, I think 9.5 minus 2.2, two, which number, I really don't pay much of, attention to numbers um but this one hyzer flip easy out of the gate the halo just super easy to just get up and ride um great beginner disc i will say if you can get a valve it'll definitely help you like learn how to throw the hyzer flip learn how to control like slower disc so prodigy d3 this is my big distance roller disc like d1s d2s kind of inconsistent but they like if you can figure them out, they do exactly what you want them to do. The D3, I throw this on a little bit of hyzer. It gets to the ground real quick, real easy. Big sky turnovers. This is a max weight one and the 400 plastic. Shout out to Harpoon Larry, Disc Golf, Brock Cummings. Uh, this is a 169 Destroyer. I switched to Destroyer, I think, a little over a year ago, I was throwing the Kongs and the Zeuses and just kind of all over the place with my distance drivers. But I really, people, all my buddies were like, Blade, you can throw destroyers. They're easy to throw. They go far. Just bag a couple. And so I got this one and I, it's, I'll never switch to another distance driver, honestly. Other than like, occasionally I'll find cool stuff, but I love the destroyers. They're classic. Once they beat in, they're super super glidey they go really far i mean i can throw far and these things go far next disc i bag is a champ this is this is a team champion series xcal this is my overstable like meat hook disc this um if i'm big spike hyzers big flex shots where i know i need to get around something but i know it's going to finish this is what i throw Another disc that I bagged that a lot of people don't bag, honestly. It's a Champ Beast, Factory Second Champ Beast. They're 10 speed for a while. This is literally, I had this in the bag and buzzes and could go around and play, play pretty much any course just because I could throw this the way that I needed to. This hyzer flip, so a slight turn for me. I get it probably about 430 to 450. Um, pretty consistently, just a all around great disc. I bag two star raves. This one's a little more stable. This one's for hyzer flips, low low tunnel shots. Um, also a good roller disc. And this one just it just crushes big flex shots. I get it to that 480 to 500 foot mark. This one's stable, so probably with a good flex, I can get it 470. Um, this one is a 171. This one's a 175. Definitely recommend the the Star Rave to. You can ask anybody. They're just simple, 
but yet you can get that max distance that you want out of a distance driver. A new disc I just started bagging, which I think I'm gonna fall in love with, is a Cloudbreaker 3. Bought this, thought they looked cool, heard good things about them, and got a pretty good deal on this one. Um, this one's a 173, and I will say, thought they'd be a little more stable, but they're, honestly, I throw it flat and it wants to turn over on me, but it, I know it's gonna finish back left. Um, doesn't hyzer flip yet. I think I got this to about 473, actually today, um, just on a low, kind of like flat to hyzer release and let it ride over and then finish back. Another disc that I was told that I would really like, this is probably, honestly, my favorite disc in the bag right now, just just cause I, it's pretty, it flies well, and it feels really good in the hand. And that's the Latitude 64 Royal Rive. Um, I will say the numbers on it are not right cause it is not 13503 and a half. Um, this bad boy out of the gate, like hyzer flip and like wanted to turn on me. Um, so this one right now is just, it's a baby hyzer, let it ride and then just, it'll finish. I think I got this. This one is probably the furthest flying disc in my bag right now. That and the, that one of those star rafes. Um, I think I threw this in a field the other day, like 540, 545 and yes, 540, 545, which we will actually be posting a video hopefully soon about actual distance, um, how far we actually throw. Another thing uh, that is a must and definitely my disc golf kind of life is a rangefinder. I bag the Apex Disc Golf Rangefinder by Infinite. You can get them on Amazon for I think like 125 bucks or way cheaper than the Bushnell. And they're just as good. They automatically calculate the slope, the distance, uphill, downhill. It does speed, does a bunch of different things. Um, so I definitely recommend y'all checking those out. And you always have to have multiple minis. Um, you just never know in a situation where you're gonna forget one, lose one. I, I probably lose two to three minis a month just cause I forget them on the course, forget that I use them. Um, one that I have not lost yet, a buddy made for me, is this Florida Lee Metal Mini. So awesome, it's heavy, got good weight. Um, honestly, I never really liked using a Mini before in tournaments. I usually just step behind the disc, but then when the buddy got this, I started using it, and for some reason it just builds a little bit of confidence when you put a Mini down, like it's a nice Mini, super clean, and you're just like, yeah, like you put it in your pocket, you carry around the course and stuff like that, so. Big shout out to my buddy George for hooking me up with this dope mini. Another thing, it's a must. Dry V Disc Golf makes these little kneeling pads that go into the back of the mini. So if you're in a situation where you gotta kneel down or you're, you just don't wanna <laughs> get on your knees and stuff like that, check out Dry V, put it in the back of the mini, just flip it over, kneel on it, super comfortable, real easy. I want to give a shout out to Griplock Disc Golf, my sponsor, um, for continued support and giving me these awesome discs. And that is about it for my what's in the bag for 2022. Thank you. Like and subscribe.